Brittany. I'm CEO and founder of the Spoonie Essentials Box. I came up with the Spoonie Essentials Box when I was in the hospital. Uh, I was actually in the hospital for Caesar observation and my friends brought me a few care packages and while they were sweet, they were just lacking something. And then it came to me. What if everybody could get care packages? What if everybody got something every month that would lift their spirits? That would validate them? That would make them feel visible? That would make them feel loved and comforted and seen and heard? That's why I created the Spoonie Essentials Box. I didn't create the Spoonie Essentials Box because I wanted to be a millionaire, because I wanted to get rich off of sick people. I created the Spoonie Essentials Box because I wanted there to be something tangible for people to receive, to get, to be gifted, that said, I get it. I might not understand completely what you're going through, but I get it and you are visible. I recognize that your illness, nobody can see it, but I see you. That's what I wanted people to know. That's what I wanted people to feel. I have Crohn's disease, I have cancer, I have dress syndrome, and I have lupus. Uh, I call it the golden goose, rare mythological creature. You know, the thing that it can't possibly be. You don't look sick enough to have all those problems. But I assure you, my medical records beg to differ. But Spoonie Essentials Box is so much more than a care package to me. I mean, yes, you give a Spoonie Essentials Box and you give the ultimate care package. But essentially, you give a community of support. You give a community of chronic illness fighters bonded together, united, supporting one another, validating one another, encouraging one another to keep fighting, to keep going, especially on those days when it's the hardest. The community has grown to be so much more than I ever anticipated. I wanted there to be somewhere where people could go, that they could talk to other people that were just like them. Well, not just like them, but relatively the same, but they weren't judged, they weren't stigmatized. Nobody said, but you don't look sick. Nobody said, I don't believe you. Nobody said, you can't be in that much pain. I wanted them to go to a place where they felt comfortable, where they felt safe. Where there would always be, always be there would always be somebody there to listen to them. And the Spoonie Essentials, community, the SCB family has grown to be so much more than I could ever imagine. It's like, it's a dream come true. You guys give me purpose. Before I used to just sit around and watch Netflix <laughs> and pop pills, but I used to feel like hopeless and in despair because I felt like I was all alone, that I was the only one who was going through this. I mean, granted, I know. There's 50 million, Amer 50 million Americans diagnosed with autoimmune diseases. But I felt so isolated. I mean, sometimes I still do. But I wanted there to be a place where people could go and, and they didn't have to feel like that. That there would be somebody that would listen to them. There would be somebody that would encourage them. That would, you know the saying, fall seven times, get up eight. Sometimes you don't have the strength to get up that eighth time. And I wanted there to be a place where people could go where somebody was always lifting out their hand to help them up, to encourage them, to empower them, to advocate for them. And that's what the Spoonie Essentials Box is to me. It's so much more than a monthly care package. It's a community. It's a group of people dedicated to eradicating the invisibility of chronic illness. We're in this together. When you get the gift of a Spoonie Essentials box or you purchase one for yourself, you don't just get a box full of stuff. You get a box carefully curated to the unique culture of being a chronic illness warrior. How do I know? I am one. I fight this every single day. Sometimes I fight myself. And I promise you, I promise you, 
I want to give you the most bang for your buck. I want to give you pound for pound the value of your dollar because I know every penny counts when you're a chronic illness fighter. When you have to pay $50 copays and you take 30 medicines and they're $40 each, you don't have $40 to waste a month. If you're gonna spend $40, it's gotta be worth it. So I carefully select each product, each good, each service. I inspect it, I research it, I try to make sure it goes with the theme as much as possible, but I think about those tangible things that you wouldn't purchase for yourself, but have so much potential to aid in the betterment of your day. Like for me, true love is when you seek to um, what is it called? Brighten, better, and lighten somebody's day. And for me, that's what I do with the Spoonie Essentials box. There is no team of people that, there's no procurement team, there's just me. There's no fulfillment team, there's just me. I pack each and every one of those boxes myself. I handwrite every single note, every single one. I know who's a subscriber because I, I know your exact dietary and allergy restrictions. I read every profile. I read every submission. Every story of Spoonie submission, it comes to my email first. I read it. And my staff, they're volunteers. They're a group of women who also believe in spreading love as thick as peanut butter. They're not paid, I'm not paid. I, I, I truly want to assure that every dollar that you spend goes into that box, that you get your money's worth. And not just because it's the right thing to do, but because the box is supposed to be so much more than a care package. It's supposed to be items that touch your heart, that nourish your mind, that feed your soul and your stomach too. I can't help it. I like snacks, but I wanted to talk to you today about harassment and bullying. I am so sorry that you are incurring harassment because of your affiliation with the Spoonie Essentials Boss. Never in my wildest dreams would I wish that for you, especially not for supporting me and supporting this community. But what I will tell you, I don't negotiate with terrorists. I don't succumb to bullying. And I don't condone harassment in any capacity, whether in person or online. And I chose to pursue legal action to stand up for myself. Why? Because if I don't stand up now, it'll always continue. I'm not just standing up for me, I'm standing up for each and every one of you. Because we don't deserve to be harassed for the choices we make. We don't deserve to be bullied because we do do something that somebody likes. No, we deserve to have the right to do whatever it is that we see fit for our business, for ourselves, for our health care, our, our medical care. So stand with me, stand with SEB. SEB and advocate, I'm one. Will you be one too?